Well, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program Basic Council. Module Hacking Web Servers Section Introduction. A web server is a computer system that processes requests via HTTP to distribute information on the World Wide Web. The primary function of a web server is to store, process, and deliver web pages to the clients. The communication between client and server takes place using protocols like HTTP. The pages delivered are HTML documents, which may include images, style sheets, scripts, in addition to text content and dynamic database content. This is a typical web server scenario where customers coming from internet go through the hardware and this is operating system. Here it's Linux. The other layers that work on the operating system are web server like Apache and NJNX, scripting language, Perl, PHP, Python, database like MySQL, MariaDB, web caching with Squid, and this is a typical scenario. In simple terms, user requests the data from web server and web server responds back to the user. This is a data center model from the front and uh, you see all the cabling here. This is from the back. This is a web server at the center and back end it connects to the SQL server database and the front it is accessed by the browser. Various types of attacks are denial of service, information disclosure, source code disclosure, arbitrary code execution, path traversal, enumeration and profiling, virus swarms and trojan horses. These affect the server performance or its purpose. And you have to protect the web server from all these types of attacks. Web server itself is a software, it may have vulnerabilities. Attacker may take advantage of poor patch management, unnecessary services and protocols, poor access control or weak access control, and no auditing and overprivileged accounts. So you have to take care of these to protect your web server, especially production server where it may impact economics. Attackers exploit vulnerabilities in the web servers and take control of them. Attack vectors are mostly default settings, misconfiguration, bugs in the web servers, known and fixed or unknown and not yet fixed, and weak security policies. These are the latest statistics of the market share of all sites of the top web servers on the internet. Apache has nearly half the market share and the top three. That is Apache, NGINX, Microsoft IIS. Out of 40 odd web servers have a market share of 94.6% and the remaining contribute for the 5% market share. Various types of attacks are directly traversal attacks, DOS attacks, DNS hijacking, sniffing, phishing, forming, defacement, etc. Let us cover these in more detail in another session. Main motive of hacking web servers is to damage reputation of an organization, monetary gains, and use stolen data for fraud activities, data tampering, and to launch secondary attacks. Some of the general tools that are used for web server hacking are Metasploit, MPAC, Zeus, Neosplit, HTTP Recon, IDServe, WFH, etc. Main threats to the web server we have seen already that is scanning and enumeration, denial of service attacks, unauthorized access, malicious code execution, privileges, over privileges, and from malware. Scanning and enumeration is used to gather information about the website, web server, and its vulnerabilities like unnecessary protocols, open ports, banners, and configuration info, etc. Ping scan, ping sweep, NetBIOS, and SMB enumeration tools are generally used. To counter these, close unwanted ports, block ICMP traffic, disable unnecessary protocols such as NetBIOS and SMB. Next is DOS attacks. DOS attacks are targeted against weak TCP IP stack configuration and unpatched servers. DOS attack is done by TCP SYN floods, buffer overflows, overloading web servers with numerous requests. To counter this, harden the TCP IP stack, apply the patches to the operating system and web server. 
Next threat is unauthorized access. Strengthen the permissions and user access controls. Secure web server user access permissions. .NET framework access control mechanisms including URL authorization. Attacker may run malicious code on web server to compromise the server with weak configuration and unpatched servers. To counter this, configure the web server to reject URLs with dot dot slash to prevent the path traversal, lock down the system commands and utilities with ACLs. And coming to the over privileges, run the processes using least privileged accounts only. Malware like virus swarms, Trojan horses affect servers and damage their purpose. To counter this, patch and stop unnecessary services, filters and extensions. These are the countermeasures to secure web server, patch management, hardening operating system, hardening web server, and configuring firewalls, antivirus, anti-malware software, disable remote admin access, remove default accounts and unused accounts, default ports and settings must be secured. It is impossible to write a software program without bugs. Whatever testing is done, there may be some unexplored bugs that may surface at a later time. Those need to be addressed when discovered. Operating system, web server and web applications are all softwares and may contain bugs that are prone for attacks. This is about the manipulation of live HTTP headers. Thanks for watching.